Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I did not save, so let me save beforehand just in case. Anyway, we're back, and I'm I'm back, and now I'm going to take on the last member of the elite of Fornus. This is going to be one of the toughest battles I'll have in my life. Probably not actually not really because the toughest battle is gonna be Cynthia. No, no doubt about that one Alrighty, then let's see how this is gonna go. Ah, you timed your arrival. Well, I've just finished reading a book You see allow me to introduce myself. I'm I'm Lucian. I'm a user of psychic type po of the psychic type I must say you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I am the toughest of the elite four I'm afraid I will have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation you don't. You don't, though. Lucian, you don't have to go all out, you know? You could just, you could just, like, dial it down a little bit. Alright, Orange Cross, stand by for battle. Use Dark Puff. This time I'm no psychic Thunderbolt Reflect and Light Screen. That's fun. <laughs> fuck off, man. Fuck off. Dude, where's Dropion when you need the fucking thing? Anyway, Lucario, stand by for battle. Lucario knows Dark Pulse as well, and it's slower than Mr. Mine. I need to fix this somehow. These reflecting light. Nice reflecting light screen crap needs to be fixed. Oh, what the fuck? Dark Pulse again! Oh, you fuck. I'll fix it with the next Pokemon. I'll toss out Electifier with Brick Break for no reason other than to break through your light screen end. Oh my god. I can't win, dude. I can't win. I can't actually fucking win right now. It's just Reflect and Light Screen. And I'm using a super effective move. And Lucario does, I think, have decent special attack. I can revive my... Uh, Orange Grove for no reason at all. By the way, why is it, why are you slower than a Mr. Mime? I didn't know Mr. Mime was speedy. Big speed pants, as you could say. I didn't know Mr. Mime was fast, actually. Lucario, what was your speed again? Wasn't it 109? Yeah, what the fuck? Orange Grove is my second slowest Pokemon. What the fuck? I could get a free switch in, though. Orange Grove, stand by for battle. Oh no, he predicted it! <gasps> I was expecting Psychic to be heading my way. Alright, I need to figure out the deal. Oh! <gasps> How did you survive? <gasps> Why couldn't you have done this the first time? If you survived in the beginning, everything would have been fine, Honchkro. I could have used Dark Pulse on Mr. Mime. Electivire, stand by for battle. I need to check something out right now. Electivire, use your bag, greatest thunder. Fuck. Mr. Mime is so fast. Why are you so fast? Good sir, I would like you to know. I would like to know why you have been fast. At least Electivire came in to do its job, and now Light Screen is also going to wear off, so that's good as well. Which means I don't have to waste uh, time using Electivire. Light Screen wore off, and now Bronzong comes into play, which means Electivire return. Mag Mortar stand by for battle. Bronzong knows Gyro Ball, a psychic Gyro Ball earthquake and Calm Mind. Mag Mortar used Flamethrower now. Come on, we gotta win this fight. I can't lose all of my items and all of my Pokemon. Okay, that could have helped. Because that halves your physical attack, which might mean that Magmortar is lucky enough to survive. Earthquake. But will it, though? It will, yeah. It kind of looks like it was going to survive no matter what. Yeah, you're going to heal now with a full restore, but I don't care because you're dead. This means I have you trapped now, Lucian, my boy. Uh, some of these Pokemon are going to be assholes, aren't they? I know already that they are, yes, going to be assholes. Alright, flamethrower again. I can already see some assholes on the way, and like I said, 
Onstrow is gonna be my main Pokemon here, and it can't do shit against some of these. I mean, right now it can't do shit anyway, because it's been damaged. Or, you know, it's dead. Magmortar return! Torterra, stand by for battle! Let's try this. Alright, Drain Punch, Psycho Cut, Leaf Blade, and Stone Ash. Wood Hammer, now! Don't insult my Torterra with a weak move like that. Wood Hammer! Probably should use Earthquake, but Wood Hammer! Yeah, Wood Hammer! No, Barry! Fuck! Forgot about that one. I am shaking me fist at you. Out of anger. Let me use a Hyper Potion on my Torterra to heal it up. You could actually use Drain Punch on Torterra. Now that I think about it, there is a possibility that that could be a move that you have planned in your arsenal. Alrighty then, Torterra. No, wait. Let me give me a second here. Use Earthquake. Let's go. Earthquake. Let's go. There's only a handful of Pokemon I can actually count on, and Honchkrow is not one of them. But I will give it the Revival Herb right now, because I may need it after this fight is completed. Galate is actually also pretty good. Oh crap. Wait a minute. Wait, I didn't even have to waste my turn. I could have healed up Torterra again and then used Woodhammer. I'm an idiot. I just wasted Torterra's potential for no reason other than the fact that I just decided to do it. Fuck it, Electrifier, get in there. I'm gonna use a Reviver up on my Torterra. I wait. I'm... I'm stupid. Have I ever told you guys that? I am beyond stupid. Yeah, well, it turns out to be true and there's no one that can actually prove me wrong. And what the fuck? How did you miss? Alrighty then, Electifier. Thunder Fist. You're faster? I thought you wouldn't be faster. That's why I revived Torterra. If I knew you'd be faster, I wouldn't have revived Torterra. I would have kicked. I would have used use Thunder Punch. What the fuck? Well, I wouldn't have revived Torterra until later, because I know I'm probably going to need it. Aha! The bitch has arrived. Shown its bitchy face. Alakazam, no Psychic, Energy Ball, Focus Blast, and Recover. And I'm going to return, Electivire, and... Stand by for battle, Torterra! I need power here, and you have that. Use Crunch! Shit! Use Crunch! Use Crunch! Fuck! Fuck! Shit, now what? Now what do I do? I need to waste a turn. I need... Uh, I can't do anything right now. Fuck it. What the hell? You're using a full restore? I was not expecting that. Alright, Torterra, please. Please, Torterra. Stone Edge! Oh. Stone Edge! Stone Edge! Stone Edge! Fuck you! Stone Edge! Stone Edge! Use Stone Edge, please. Damn it, Torterra. Why won't you use Stone Edge? Why did you miss? That fucking Heracross hit like five of them in a row. Alright, I like to fire back in. I will hit a Stone Edge even if I fucking have to waste so many goddamn items. I am now determined to hit Stone Edge. Alright, that is now my life's goal. I've made that my life's goal. To kill this fucking... Bastard with Stone Edge. Kill this Alakazam with Stone Edge is now my life's mission. I will kill everyone on my team if I have to. In order to kill Alakazam with Stone Edge. So to Terra get back in there, use Stone Edge now. I need your Stone Edge. This is like potentially the only battle where I can actually use your Stone Edge. So use it. Use it. Yes, you it. 
You hit. Thank you, Dodera. It wasn't enough, but you hit, and that was all that mattered. Now you die. Now die. Damn, man. If he hit that first stone edge, I would have won because of the fact that then I. Damn. Lucario, stand by for battle. Let me use a revival to open my Totera. I know you're gonna use Focus Blast, Alakazam. I can see right through your mustache. I know exactly that you're gonna pull out. Alright, maybe his mustache lied to me. He's got that one hell of a lying mustache, that's for damn sure. Look at that mustache, it's a lying one. Alright, Totera, stand by for battle. Use Crunch. Yeah! Fuck you. Now one is remaining, which is Espeon. You know, even though the leak hasn't gone the way that I wanted it to, Espeon, huh? Alrighty then. Totara return. Let's see what you can do. Hanshko, stand by for battle! Damn it, Hanshko, your reaction time keeps being too fucking slow. I need to kill this fucking... Mm, now what should I do? Give up! Give up, let me win. With no psychic, shadow ball, quick attack, a signal beam. Give up and let me win. Don't kill my Hanshko, I swear to god, you bastard. This could be the first win Hanshko can get in this fucking fight, to be honest. Good. Another hit like that and you will win. If you didn't lose beforehand. You know what, I'll give you a revival herb. Calm down. But there I stand by for battle. By the way, this did not happen. Alright, I'll give him a revival herb. But this did not happen in the official continuity. Anshkro was able to take that and then defeat Espeon. By the way, also, I forgot to say this during the berry battle, but um, Snorlax and Ambipom tied. Because, like, Snorlax used Body Slam to take out Ambipom, and right before that, Ambipom used Shockwave, and then they both fainted because, you know, you will die when Snorlax lies on top of you, when it uses its fat ass body to just take a nap on top of Eeyore. When it uses you as a bed, that's just when you know life is over. Because he's fat as fuck. And because of the fact that Snorlax is fat as fuck, he's awesome. I don't even know if Snorlax can have to take fat ability, but I wouldn't be surprised if he did. And so we have defeated the entirety of the Elite for I see. You're getting past the three before was no fluke, your power is real. Indeed it is, my friend. Congratulations, you've now beaten the Elite Four, however, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. There remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now, go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. Oh, here we go. Why? Alright, here we go. Oh, who's ready to be raging? Because uh, this is going to be hell on earth, I swear to you, man. By the way, I also don't really know how to make a safe state on this fucking thing. On this emulator. It would be nice to know how to make a safe state. Because I think I'm going to end the video in the middle of this upcoming battle. Alrighty then. Now I don't really have a plan. I have a plan moving in to this fight. And that's the fact that the Electivire and Torterra will basically do most, if not all of this stuff. That's basically the plan that I have right now. Torterra and Electivire will do everything except for one thing, which is what someone else will take over. Alright, so she starts off with that one. And she will use... That one. And then she will use this one. And then this shit. It's basically how it will go. Oh. This is going to be bad, by the way. I would like to, everybody to know that this is a terrible, gonna be a terrible battle. Now, if I could just make a safe state, if I could figure out how to do that. I'm gonna make a safe here and hopefully be able to recover myself every time. Oh, 
Hopefully this battle will go fine because, uh, whoo. Alright, let's go for the champion battle. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet and uh, for the distortion world. I am, I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame the challenges you face, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk, let's get on with why you are here. As the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. Here we go, Shadow vs. Cynthia. Let the battle begin now. Alrighty then, Cynthia, let's see how this is gonna go. Spiritomb Tomb comes out first and Lucario stand by for battle. I don't really know what to use against Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb knows Dark Ball, Psychic, Silver Wind and Shadow Ball. Alright, Lucario use Flash Cannon. Basically Lucario is here to weaken that fucking Spirit Tomb. I don't know why there's a pause when I use that shit. Alrighty then. I'm actually gonna make a stupid move now if Lucario survives. Dragon Pulse, let's go! Now you know it knows Dragon Pulse. Yay! I used it. Damn! Okay, Lucario, you do resist this. But you're still dead. Alrighty then. Torterra, stand by for battle. Alrighty then, Torterra, use Wood Hammer! Damn, Spirit Tomb is slow. What the fuck? I got a turtle with a tree on its back. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. Alrighty then, the battle's going well. Toby kiss, huh? Torterra, return! Electivire, stand by for battle. Actually, when I like play this on my own, I I actually send out like my Hunchcrow. So that Togekiss would use Shockwave. And hit Electivire when I switched. And then when Electivire got hit, it motor drive would activate and make it faster than Togekiss. Thing is, Electivire by nature apparently is faster than Togekiss, or at least during that playthrough, so I'm not doing that tactic. Anyway, we got Air Slash, Aura Sphere, Water Pulse, and Shockwave. Electivire, you Thunder Punch. But you were by nature faster before. You were faster before to Electivire. What happened? <gasps> what happened? Thunder Punch, go! Alright, plans change, I guess. And now it seems that Togekiss is faster than my Electivire. And I don't think Electivire can do shit here, so uh, we're gonna heal up Lucario for a quick second so that Lucario can faint against this Togekiss and then Electivire can come with the Thunder Feast. Oh, you think you're being funny, don't ya? Fucking comedian over here, what the hell is this? Now why would you bring out Garchomp? Garchomp knows Dragon Rush, for Earthquake, Flamethrower, and Giga Impact. Why didn't you use Giga Impact? I wanted you to use Giga Impact so that uh, Gastrodon could come in and just... You think you're being a fucking comedian, don't you? That was supposed to be your fucking last Pokemon. Ice Beam, Gastrodon, let's suck. Ah, oh, Ice Beam, go! I found an opening. Use Ice Beam. <laughs> oh my lord, dude. Ah, fuck. Oh no. Another Ice Beam. Now, if you would be... Wait, didn't, didn't like Cynthia use Go Dragon Rush again? No, please, no, please! Against Paul's Weavile is what I was gonna say. And then it was like, oh, Dragon Rush emits this shit. That means that you can't dodge it, and it's like... But it's got shit accuracy. Alright, Torterra, stand by for battle. I want Torterra to beat Guard Jump anyway. Of course, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Ah, no. Yeah, 
Yeah, why wouldn't you, you know? Just one-shot my Torterra, even though you shouldn't have. There's no reason you actually should have one-shot my Torterra. The other time I played, Torterra was able to survive, and it was the same level. I think? It was either the same level or level lower. I know I didn't reach 50 yet. 